So for this video, the first thing I want you to do is to put your right hand on the left side of your chest. What you feel right there is your heartbeat. Your heart is the muscle responsible for pumping blood all throughout the body to deliver oxygen and nutrients. Fun fact, your heart is the same size as your fist. So we have the different parts of the heart. We have the four chambers. So the two upper chambers are called the atria. So this is the right atrium and this is the left atrium. And the two lower chambers are called the ventricles. This is the right ventricle and the left ventricle. So this is called the superior vena cava, and this is called the inferior vena cava. This is the aorta, the tricuspid valve, the mitral valve, the pulmonary valve, the pulmonary artery, and the pulmonary vein. In order to explain the function of the parts of the heart, we have to go through the whole cycle. And deoxygenated blood returns to the heart through the superior and inferior vena cava, the right atrium receives the deoxygenated blood and flushes it to the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. So this is our tricuspid valve. Then the right ventricle pumps the deoxygenated blood to the lungs through the pulmonary valve. The blood then leaves the heart through the pulmonary artery. When the oxygenated blood from the lungs returns to the heart, it passes through the pulmonary vein. So the left atrium receives the oxygenated blood from the lungs and flushes it to the left ventricle through the mitral valve. So this is the left ventricle and this is the mitral valve. So the left ventricle is the strongest chamber of the heart and it pumps the oxygenated blood to the body through the aorta. The superior vena cava brings the deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body and the inferior vena cava brings the deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body. So our pulmonary artery, this is our pulmonary artery, it takes the deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. And our pulmonary vein takes the oxygenated blood from the lungs back to the heart. So this is our aorta. It carries the oxygenated blood from the heart to be distributed to the rest of the body. This is our septum. It separates the right and left sides of the heart. So let's go to our valves. This is the tricuspid valves. It opens for blood to flow from the right atrium to the right ventricle. This is our mitral valve. It opens for the blood to flow from the left atrium to the left ventricle. And lastly, this is our pulmonary valve. It opens for blood to flow from the right ventricle up to the lungs. That's it for the parts of the heart.